What is up everybody and welcome back to another Among Us video and in this video I'm going to be telling you why you should never play as aquatic in Among Us. So in Among Us I'm sure you are aware about the water imposter also known as aquatic and his recent battle with Molten who is a lava imposter. And if you have been keeping up with the channel lately, I'm sure you are aware that Aquatic has been captured by Sairi Sorrel, which happened when Aquatic and Molten went head to head on the map of Polis. I recently saved Molten, but Aquatic was unfortunately lost and captured by Sairi Sorrel. And I'm on a mission to save him, but what ended up happening will shock all of you. So you won't want to miss this. And before we get any further into this video, if you're new to the channel and haven't hit that subscribe button but want to see more of these type of videos make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on that way you're one of the first to watch these videos and if you want me to save aquatic make sure to leave a like down below but now let's begin with today's story video so today was just a regular day of among us I got online to play and I joined the lobby Sairi Loris. And when I joined, I was surprised with something unbelievable. I saw in big text Sairi Sorrel, and then the name randomly vanished. There was also a player right next to me that had no username. And above me there was a Sairi Sorrel that was pink, which I'm assuming was just a fan. But the player right next to me must be him. The player behind the fear of many crewmates. Since he had no username, I was unable to identify him. But in the chat, several crewmates were wondering if I was a real one since I recently joined the lobby and I just said what? The player without a name which I'm assuming was Sairi Sorrel told me that he was gonna hack me and I told him hack me then. Then he said that he wasn't gonna let me move and I told Sairi Sorrel I'm not scared of you. That is fine by me. You really think I'm scared of you? And then I closed the chat to see if Sairi Sorrel was being serious and he was. I wasn't able to move my player. I even tried clicking on the settings to see if it would fix the issue but it didn't. His name then appeared once again in big letters and I wasn't the only one that was frozen, it was also the other players. I then opened up the chat and Sairi Sora put in large text his name, which covered the entire screen. And as I was about to respond to Sairi Sora, I was kicked out of the lobby due to inactivity. I was then forced to look for our lobby and I found one by the name of Chari. I tried to join the lobby but it said that it was full. So I'm going to be forced to find another one because not that many people are playing. I then ended up finding the same lobby which was Sari Loris. So I joined the lobby and I saw a few fans of Sairi Sorrel. I don't know who would want to be a fan of him. I then told Sairi Sorrel in the chat, I am back Sairi Sorrel. You think I will let you escape after what you did to Aquatic? Sairi Sorrel was then telling the rest of the crewmates that he wasn't a bad hacker and that he's friendly. And I told him I already saved Molten and I will save Aquatic as well and that he won't stop me. He then told me that he was friendly and I told him, you make me laugh Sairi Sorrel and players in the chat began to praise him. He then told me don't be scared and I told him you never stopped me and you never will. He then banned me from the lobby and I couldn't return. I guess Sairi Soro's feelings just got hurt. I then joined another lobby and I saw Aquatic Killer and Molten. What are all three of them doing in the lobby? So I asked him in the chat, what are you doing here? And I was instantly disconnected. Someone is trying to prevent me from talking with them. I luckily managed to find the lobby again and I joined. But this time I was Chari1 because someone took my username. Molten then told me in the chat that they're trying to stop Sairi Sorrel. And I told them I just faced him. I also reminded the crewmates that that wasn't the real Chari and that I'm the real one since there was an imposter in the lobby. Killer then told me, don't you get it? The one you see as Gare Bear is Sairi Sorrel. And I have been seeing Gare Bear in my lobbies lately. And I told Killer, I need your help. I never thought I'd see that day where I'm working with Killer. He then said, yes, Chari. And I told him, Sairi Sorrel has captured Aquatic. And Aquatic said, I'm right here. And I told him, what is he doing here? But something didn't seem right. I told the imposters that Sairi Sorrel tracked me in his lobby. And I saw his name in big letters. And he banned me after I confronted him. But then it was the beginning of the game. And I spawned inside of the main hall. I'm gonna go look for Molten, Aquatic, and Killer. I wanna make sure they're safe. 
I then found Chari in the engine room, which is a player that's pretending to be me. Killer was also here, but where is Aquatic and Molten? I need to go look for them. I then made my way over to Records, and Gare Bear randomly teleported behind me. His color was Forda Green. Could that be Sari Soro in disguise? Or one of his minions? But I need to continue to search for Aquatic and Molten. I then made my way over to Medical and I checked Vitals and they were both alive. So that is a good sign. As I was about to do a task in Electrical, Molten and Aquatic appeared. And I am so glad they're safe. I'm gonna make sure to stay in a pack with them. Just so the imposter doesn't take us out. We ended up finding the fake Chari in Cargo Bay. But I made sure to stay right next to Aquatic and Molten. But then something strange happened. When we were in the medical, Gare Bear appeared right behind all of us. And he was just watching us. Especially Aquatic. Something tells me that this Aquatic is an imposter. I know he's an imposter. But I have a feeling he's working with Sairi Sorrel. And trying to sacrifice sabotage all of us. I really don't like working with the imposters, but if I have to, to take down Sairi Sorrel, then it has to be done. As I was doing a task in the armory, the lights went off, and I lost track of Molten and Aquatic. Where did they go? But I ended up finding Purple's body in the kitchen, so I reported it. I let the crewmates know that the body was in kitchen, but then Chari blamed me. And I told them no, I was with Molten and Aquatic, and luckily Molten had my back. Killer then suggested that we don't fight and that we should focus on the real threat, which is Sairi Sorrel. And I decided to ask the crewmates, who is Gare Bear? He was teleporting. Killer then told me that Gare Bear is one of Sari Soro's minions. And I told the crewmates, why don't we vote him out instead? But Killer said that we can't see him in the band menu. I then told the imposter, something tells me Gare Bear is Sari Soro. And even Molten agreed with me. What if Sari Soro is under a new identity? Killer and Molten both agreed. But it was now the end of the meeting. I then decided to spawn inside of the brig. And I went to go do my task. I just want to finish this game to get to the bottom of this and get my answer. I ended up finding Moen, Aquatic, and Killer in the engine room. And once again, I decided to stay in a pack with them. We have to stay close together, so we're protected from Gare Bear. Chari then ended up reporting a body, and Aquatic randomly left the game. But in the chat, I cleared Moen, Killer, and Aquatic, so that only leaves Chari. Molten was then laughing that Aquatic left the game, but I don't think he left. I believe Sairi Sorrel might have gotten him, and Killer agreed. Maybe that wasn't the real Aquatic, and it was a spy. Gerber was watching us, especially me, Molten, and Aquatic. He is spying on us. I then told the imposters vote for Red Chari, and we ended up voting for him. But he wasn't the imposter. So who could it be? To be fair, I am playing with two imposters. But Molten has been on my side. It has to be Killer. I then made my way over to the meeting room to call a button, but a sabotage was called. And Killer took me out. He betrayed me. My screen was then frozen in time, and my player appeared on the screen. Chrono then appeared, and was taking me back in time. He then told me that he was taking me back to the events that took place, before Aquatic and Molten would go head to head. He wants me to try to save Aquatic from Sairi Sorrel, and the only way I could stop him is if I turn into Aquatic and use the special water abilities. I then completely vanished and I was sent back in time. I then spawned inside a polis and I was now Aquatic. I need to make my way over to the boiler room to save Aquatic. So I made my way over there and I used my special water ability on one of the water pipes to hopefully wake up Aquatic and tell him what's about to happen. The plan actually worked, and the ground began to shake, which caused an entire wave of water to come from the left side, and Aquatic was here. I was then telling Aquatic that Sairi Sorrel was coming, and that we need to get out of here, but that is when my game began to glitch, and Sairi Sorrel appeared, and was using his abilities. Sairi Sorrel and Aquatic then completely vanished, and I wasn't able to save him. Looks like both of them are making their way over to the lava pool, where Molten and is hiding. If you would like to know what happened next between Sairi Sora and Aquatic, let's see if we can get this video to 30,000 likes. I do also want to give a massive shout out to Kitty King for helping me produce this video. If you would like to help out a smaller creator, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. And check out these other Among Us story videos that I found on my channel.